Welcome to Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. What do you want? Um, where's the City of the Ancients? The City of the Ancients? Oh, you must mean the Forgotten City. Um, yeah, where's that? <laughs> Can you tell me where that is? Uh, do you know where Eris is? Or are you talking about that girl? I warned her, but she went into the sleeping forest anyway. What are you doing? Uh, excavating is great. It's like a history of a planet told in the land. This guy is terrible at conversation. The lunar harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate it for you if you want us to. I want to buy something. Diamond bangles. Those are upgrades, and they do have better materia slots than the adamant bangle. Not 11. Let's just get two. Thank you. And the rune armlet, armlet does double materia growth. Hmm. So I guess you could get one of those, get a little bit of a defense, you know, drop but you would have at least some extra growth on your material, which might be nice. So let's see, I have four slots there, and the new diamond bangle adds another slot. Nice. We've got the Eden coat, so you probably don't want this right now, because I've got you loaded out with material at the moment. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave her for now. Pretty awesome to have right now. So we'll leave that. The Lunar Harp, somewhere on the ground here. I don't even know what that is. Well, actually I do, but... I think I'm gonna go somewhere else first real quickly. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just beyond here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now the forest is asleep. Anyone who wanders in while it's asleep gets confused. You can go in, but you may never come out. But just now a girl in pink and a man in a black cape went in. You think they'll be alright? Oh boy. You can awaken the Sleeping Forest if you have the Lunar Heart. And there you are. So that's the information that kind of clues you in that yes, you do need to have them dig for this Lunar once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. The girl in pink who just went in used a lunar harp to get through. Uh, I want a lunar harp. Uh, ask the guy in the tent below. We use the newest system to find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes and then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. To triangulate the position. Okay, we do want that Lunar Harp, so let's do it. Other than the Lunar Harp, what else do you want us to dig for? Let's just do the Lunar Harp. Alright, then I'll lend you some of my staff. Show us where you want us to dig. Press Y to set a staff in a position. I don't remember how... Okay, so you get to put down as many as you want. Alright. 100 gil per position. just do four to start with and see if that gives us enough information. Um, we'll put one here. And here. And then we'll call that good. Let's see what happens. Press Y to ignite the bomb for the search. The staff members will calculate the tremors and dig up the buried item. The dig point is where the staff's line of vision meets. Okay, so both of them are looking over here. You're looking here. Okay, this one's looking directly up there. That one up there. So that kind of points to that little corner right there. Now, fun fact, 
it's always in the same position, the lunar harp is anyway. So, um, yeah. If you want, you can just not put down any of them and just dig in this spot and you should be fine. The result will be placed in the treasure box overnight. Key item, Lunar Harp. There we go. Now I'm going to do this one more time just to see if we can find something else. Um, let's try searching for a good treasure. I'll lend some of my staff, show us where you want to dig. And we'll do kind of a similar thing. Pretty close to that girl in purple down below. It's got to be real close to her. Like, I think it's probably right about here. Let's see if we got it. Received a mop. Um, is that a weapon? I think that might be one of the joke weapons. Um, let's check our item list. It is! Let's see, is that a trident? Yeah, so that's a joke weapon for, uh, Sid. I kind of am curious to see what that looks like. Like, damage-wise. Let's check real quick. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's his empty, no-growth weapon. So, it, while it's pretty fairly powerful it's really not that much more than the weapon i've got right now so <laughs> yeah not something we're actually going to use but hey look you can find a mop that's cool i guess Yes, I know I save a lot. Old habits die hard. Old habits die hard. Where are levels at? 36, 35, you're a 34, and I hate you. I really do. Kate Sith is, like, my least favorite character, by far. I'm not even worried about it. Um, we finally caught up with Vincent. Maybe we'll start using him now, finally. We haven't really used him very much yet, so... But I'm going to keep this party makeup for the time being. And we're going to move forward. We have the Lunar Harp, so let's uh, make our way towards this Forgotten City. So you can't actually get through this area without the Lunar Harp. Sleeping forest to walk. Is that a piece of materia? No, I think that's just a weird little glitch in that tree graphic. Oh. I knew there was a materia somewhere in here. It floats around. Received? I think it's pronounced Kujata or Kuyata? But that is a new summon. Maybe I will get her to manipulate here and put Kuyata on you. Uh, this summon actually does three different elemental attacks, if I remember correctly. So, um, 
Basically, this summon is only useful when you don't have an enemy that, you know, can, that is, you know, some enemies use drain, so if you used a fire spell on them, it would heal them. That sort of thing can be kind of problematic with this summon, so you gotta be mindful of that. Let's give you the HP plus, because uh, with those summons, you lose a bit. Yeah, you're losing like 10% of your HP with those two summons, so there it is back for you. And plus, we should probably be leveling those up, so... Great. So we got the summon. We'll give him a shot at some point. Him or her. I don't actually even remember what that summon looks like. If I'm being honest. And let's move forward. A water ring. Drains water attacks. Oh, and you've got the ribbon. All abnormal statuses. That's really useful. That's such a good accessory. Let's put the water ring on you. Okay, and this is where I go up. Ah, we got one of the misses. on the world map. Saving a new slot. There's not really any reason you would need to save in a new slot there. You could get back out of that area pretty easily. I'm pretty sure, but... I just do that. You know? Maybe you've noticed. No idea where I'm going. Oh. Alright, well we found the uh, safe spot. Is this a place to rest too? Magic source. Okay, so 
So if we go left, you'll find the safe point. Noted. giving you a lot of material slots. It's a good boost in magic defense, too. Hmm. What do you have in those two material slots right now? Well, that's our cover and counter. Anything I could lose, maybe those two. Ashiva and Destruct. I want Bahamut. That summon stays. Definitely want Restore on him. I've always got a Restore on him. Dragon Armlet. Yeah. Give you Shiva. Yeah, let's just give you the one that I took off of Cloud. So we can keep leveling that up. Nope, nothing back there? Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't remember what area you have to go into to progress the plot. I don't, I'm not ready to progress the plot yet. I think that is the right way, though. It's going up to that crystal in the center there. Just in case, we're going to go around the other way. It looks like there's another entrance over on that side anyway, so maybe when we go around the right side... Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Is there no enemies in this area? Have I ran it? I don't think I've run into a single battle. Have I? Interesting. I thought there were enemies in the area. Guard source. to rest? Maybe? How cool! I can't believe we found such a soft bed in a dive like this. Shall we take a break here? Nice. Okay. Save point on the left. Beds on the right. 